I was in a meeting, in an orthopedic meeting, and I was looking for an instrument that will allow me to do something to correct the problem through the tubes. And I was looking for instruments like, like forceps or something like that that would allow me to remove the disc or do something. Well, to my surprise, I saw a group of people using a laser procedure with a new laser that they were trying to use on a knee. For me, it was like the whole world changed. <laughs> you just lit up right there when you yeah, saw it. I just look and I said, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, because with a small little instrument, I can perform better than using big instruments. Now, that was in the very beginning. But then later on, we start to see in our experience that that instrument alone is not gonna be totally effective. So we increase the size of the tubes and we're able to introduce scopes and introduce then forceps and introduce different type of mechanical instruments like drills and things like that, that allow us to do now, perform the open surgery in a small type of a uh, surrender. So we can do as much as you can do with an open surgical procedure, but with a very minimal invasion. So the results are not fast for the patient, less painful, immediately recover, and at the same time, we don't even use heavy anesthetics. When you need to do open surgery, you need to use really a general anesthesia. And, and that worries a lot of people because, you know, we always worry about anesthesia. You could go under and not wake up. So, I mean, that does yeah. concern people. And anytime you use anesthesia, you never know what's gonna happen. So it's nice that the patients are awake during your procedures. Yes, and, and the beauty of this is not only they are awake, in the beginning, when you tell somebody who's gonna be awake in surgery, they, they, they panic. But if you go and you explain why they need to be awake and that they are not going to hurt, they're gonna feel that you're touching something, mm -hmm. but they are not gonna have pain, then they come down. After the first, if you need to do two or three surgeries in these patients, uh, usually the first surgery is a little bit like uh, I'm scared. But then after that, they, they play very, very easy and they cooperate very easy because they know really is not pain on it, except in certain areas when sometimes the stenosis is too strong. And then we need to just tell them and say, look, this is gonna hurt a little bit. And if it is something minimal, it's okay. If not, we just throw some anesthetic on the area and the pain goes away. So it's controllable, everything is controllable. And they can let you know as well. And at the same time, they are telling you exactly, you say, is this your pain? The patient goes, that's exactly my pain. So you have an incredible information to correct the problem. Can you treat sciatica? Is that the main thing you see coming in there, a lot of sciatica now? Well, you know, sciatica is, is, is a name that is on the market and the population learn about that, that. It's nothing more than a big nerve. It's a nerve that has different roots that they go from the spine. They clutter all these roots and they create a nerve. And that nerve is being called the sciatic nerve. But the sciatic nerve, is a nerve that goes on the back of the leg. These people are not only problems with the back of the leg, they have problems on the front of the leg, on the front and the side of the leg, problems on the, uh, on the, on the inside of the leg, problems on the back of the leg. So those are not the sciatic nerve at all. So some of these belong to the sciatic nerve, but not all. So each nerve has different type of a behavior. And then we, instead to talk about sciatic nerve, we talk about the fourth nerve, the third nerve, the fifth nerve, the S1 nerve. We identify each nerve. And each nerve behaves like when you look a map of the country and you go and you say, where's Florida? Well, Florida's the fifth nerve, but New York is the fourth nerve. So if you're gonna take the plane to Florida, you better go to the fifth nerve. <laughs> That, that is the way that we, 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 we plan this and the results are, are really incredible.
Well, Dr. Bonatti, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. And make sure you visit them at Bonatti.com or visit the Bonatti Spine Institute in Hudson. Thank you for joining us on 44 on the Town. For more information, you can reach us at 1-855-267-0483 or visit our website at Bonatti.com.